Hello and welcome to the series where I show you what I'm doing to become a web developer. My name's Craig and this is week four. This week I haven't focused on anything particularly new but it's been more of a revision week. Let's see how much time I've spent on web development. In total I've spent 25 hours and 40 minutes which is up from the previous week, so I'm rather happy. Still nowhere near the initial time frame I wanted to spend on web development, but I'm rather happy with the amount of time that I am doing currently. It's not too draining, which is nice. In terms of tutorials and projects, I've spent 12 hours and 40 minutes on tutorials and 13 hours on projects. I've finally gone over the 100 hour mark, which is crazy to think that I've been doing a web development for 100 hours now. And it just makes me realize how far I've still got to go and how much I've got to learn. But one step at a time, right? I'm looking forward to it. I don't feel I've accomplished that much this week given the amount of time I've had on it, which just seems really bizarre. What I've learned this week as I said earlier, I haven't really learned anything new and it's been a week of revision, going over the basics, always working on the fundamentals and trying to get better. So I covered things like Flexbox, again, grids. There was a lot of basic CSS that I covered. It was mostly because there was a few courses I had on my list or that I'd started previously and I just wanted to get them off my list, finish them up. And, you know, I hope they would give me some new insights, most of the time not really. Going over the fundamentals is never a bad thing, so um, I don't feel like it's wasted time. There's one kind of video that classes a tutorial that I watched. Uh, it's about two and a half hours long, and it was a YouTube video of Kevin Powell going through a front end of mentor challenge. Uh, I thought it was amazing to watch that. It was really great to see how a pro goes about the challenge. You know, he, he changed tact a few times, which is brilliant. You know, it just shows that you don't have to get fixed on one method if you've started on it. And it was quite easy to change for him. Gave me a bit more hope, I guess. <laughs> but I really enjoyed watching that. And I'll probably try and watch a few more, maybe of the challenges that I've done, just so I don't feel like I'm cheating in the future. Other than that, you know, I've spent my time trying to build a few mock-up sites as I said, the amount of time I've spent doesn't really reflect the work, I don't feel. So I'm a little disappointed with that. But let's jump over to the computer and we can see what I've been building. So this is my week four projects. I've only built three different websites along with a front-end mentor challenge. But I've included links to my previous projects, the videos for my previous projects as well. So I actually didn't finish this clearly because there's some text this week has been about. We don't know. But let's dive straight in. I've done all these links as target blanks so they'll open up in a new sheet uh, while I'm on this page I may as well show the mobile version you know it resizes so it gets a stacked column which I think is quite nice when it's stacked I should have probably done left align text because nobody likes to read paragraphs where it's centered so a bit of a def design flaw there not too worried about it so let's jump straight into the sites the multi-page sign-up form. So I really like doing this one because it uses, you know, multiple pages and links in HTML. So I thought that was quite nice. I did design this twice and both times I'm not really happy with the outcome. I don't really like the color schemes. I don't like this wiggly line, uh, just things like that. I'll go into mobile first because I've been designing mobile first this week. So you've got your usual like forename, surname, email address 
and mobile number. What I don't like about the mobile number form is it will error, I believe, yep. Yeah, it will error if it doesn't match this format I've written at the top. So you have to manually include a dash, which isn't great. Uh, I thought it would do it automatically. But yeah, not a big problem. And just general address lines and username and passwords, which you know, all the right types of inputs and tape box. And the place order just goes back to the front. So if I close the dev tools. I can just show you the hover animations here quickly. So it changes color, adds a box shadow. You know, it's not anything special. The only reason I like this one is using the multiple navigations and clicking through with different buttons. Other than that, I'm not too happy with this page. Got a blog home screen. Again, I'll go into dev tools and do a mobile first because that's how I've been designing stuff. So you got your company name, some navigations at the top, a bit of a hero section, some categories that you could do, uh, images, blogs, and the photo with kind of copyrights, contact, all these are links. Thinking about it, these social icons should have been display column as well, just to follow the same as the other text. These blog postcards, I don't know what to call them. These aren't clickable, but there should have been some kind of pointer effect to show that they could be clickable. Got a linear gradient, which is quite nice. And the images, I believe, are using cover, uh, size cover. So they do resize and show different aspects. Just go to kind of tablet, the navigation changes. So they're all horizontal and the cards go to a two column layout and footer changes as well. Again, just closing the dev tool, I'll show the kind of hover icons along the navigation, which are all right. My screen's 27 inches, so this looks rather small on my screen. It would have been nice if this was a bit fuller. Again, two cards isn't enough on a big screen like this. Uh, they just seem really stretched. So a third card would have been nice. And I've just got a few hover animations on the bottom there. They're nothing too special, but I did quite like doing this site. I've got three sections and I believe I use like an nth child odd. Yeah, one, two, yeah, nth child odd to color the backgrounds, which was quite nice. And just trying to do a little bit of kind of do not repeat yourself CSS. And finally, we got the services site, so mobile first again, everything's stacked on top of each other. So we've got, you know, company title, a bit of a hero section on a mobile. This should be centered text. I think got a testimonial, so good old Judy, Robert, Andrew and Sarah, just random names and random things I thought of for testimonials. Uh, there's a background image with a color overlay and my mind's gone blank on how I've done that. So you got the URL, then the color and you use blend mode multiply. It was a, if I take the blend mode off, it was like a white drain image. So I kind of wanted that blue to carry on through. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Again, small box shadows rounded corners. I think that's just becoming my default whenever doing cards to add it some depth. The gallery, I wanted to do a hover animation on the images, but for the life of me, I was really struggling with that. I just couldn't get it working how I wanted it. I tried using background images. I've used images from HTML tags. And yeah, I just couldn't get the hover working how I wanted it. So I've turned that off. What I have done, I've got six images here but going to a medium or larger screen, a little bit more. We've got nine images, so that's quite nice. The only thing is I've used auto fit, I believe, on 
display grid so sometimes you know they're not going to be even unfortunately and with the contact section bit of text overflow which isn't brilliant but you know at least they're all aligned at the start so i'm not not too bothered about that and then a profile image and a picture of a map i just i wanted to do something with maps but i kind of ran out of time so i just took a screenshot of i believe it's somewhere in durham yeah i just took a screenshot and added it in as a jpeg and again if we go to medium screens that resizes to a two column layout if i just close the dev tool there are some hover animations you can't really tell on the header section Oh yeah, I did mention the header section changes as well to a two column layout where this is kind of a blank section to get a bit more of the image in it. And on these buttons, it's a smooth scroll. But yeah, there's a slight hover animation there on the buttons and again on the text at the footer. We'll go over to the front end mentor challenge. It was just a simple profile card. Got my Figma design where I just kind of did boxes. I didn't really add all the elements in it. So this is kind of how I thought I was going to build it uh, using a box. I got another, and then a pseudo element there. Two, yeah, two boxes within the one section, and then a circle. It kind of made sense. And I believe that's actually how I've built it. Head over to the final design. So I think it looks quite good on a mobile. You know, there is an issue where if it's on a really small screen, like so, the header kind of gets cut off a little bit. And it doesn't scroll very nicely. But I don't think anyone has a screen really that small. So mobile I'm quite happy with, then it expands to a desktop. That's probably a bit too spread out for my liking on a tablet screen but I was following the style guides of 1440 for the screen sizes and again it just changed the size of the main container here to a, was it 30 percent something like that and it all worked pretty nicely I, what I did have trouble with was these two SVG images for the background I couldn't quite make them look right on desktop but they don't look bad they just don't look quite like the targeted image. That's everything for week four. For next week, I'm tempted to just carry on with HTML, CSS, and have a little bit of a focus of Bootstrap, whilst starting to do a little bit of JavaScript. There's a book that's available for free online as a PDF, Called eloquent javascript i'll be diving into that a little bit along with a few online classes as always it'll be great to get your thoughts and opinions on what i've been working on i'd love to hear what you're working on as well if you want to share your projects that'd be fantastic i do feel that i need to start looking at other sites a lot more so i'm going to use a site called awards just to get some kind of inspiration and see how other people are building websites, making them look nice. And there's another site, I believe, called Smashing Magazines. I'll have to double check that. But yeah, again, just looking at that for inspiration. So as always, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more, then please subscribe. I'll catch you all later.